Different learners have different learning techniques. Some are more visual, some are more auditory. So we're going to mix the format and we're going to do this as brief as possible. What we see as the immediate direct correction of certain erroneous ideas as it relates to the Ukraine conflict, which is scientifically a limited conflict, a limited armed conflict with competing state interest currently being waged by Russia into Ukraine. We're going to correct the errors and for that we switch to a mixed learning format based on text and auditory information. In terms of international relations, the following are clear falsehoods, which has cropped up as an idea from time to time. There are certain interests, I believe there are certain interests on the part of Russia and Vladimir Zelensky of Ukraine. But the science needs to be discussed objectively. It is myth and error. It is a myth and error to suggest that NATO partner countries will be next in a sort of domino, basically NATO part, NATO member states, basically treaty partners subject to Article 5 of the treaty, that they will be dominoes, pawns and victims in a game of Russian military aggression. This is absolutely false. And why is this false? It is not a value statement saying, oh, well, Russia is so moral, they're going to stop at Ukraine. Oh, wow, they're so moral. Putin is so moral. He's a, he, what a saint. What a great, uh, what a great orthodox saint. No. Russia's constraint is this. Even if Russia wanted to expand the conflict, they cannot expand the conflict because that would trigger Article 5 of, of this framework that, you know, that's part of NATO, which means that it would risk new potential not only conventional but also non-conventional nuclear full-scale conflagration which would pose a serious existential threat to Russia as well as you know NATO partner countries but this is where mutually assured destruction applies and this is why there was never a direct confrontation between United States Armed Forces Russian or you know actually not Russian Soviet Union Armed Forces in which Ukraine was part of the Soviet Union then and there goes the Soviet Union has that that the um, supreme presidium of the, the supreme Soviet this whole debacle with uh, around Crimea that's a long part of the history between the uh, what was it the Ukrainian uh, Republic the Russian Republic and you have the Soviet this federal Soviet government that sits on top of both Russia and Ukraine mostly controlled, you know, dominated by Russia, of course, dominated by Mother Russia, of course. But myth and error too. When President Zelensky remarks to the effect that World War III is upon the world, it is a great international struggle of all countries, you know, basically, it is not an international struggle. It is a, it is a, it is a conflict that is limited strictly Mostly, in terms of the kinetic theater, it is limited to Ukraine. It is not an international conflict for the same reasons why Russia is not, why Russia and the United States do not directly go into kinetic blows. So apart from minor Vietnamization training of Ukrainian contingents and contribution of war materials and funds, what, what, what Ukraine is trying to get from the, the Americans, no NATO member states military nor any other nuclear power will directly engage in military to military kinetic hostilities with Russia. So there is, with all the sanctions regime, all the politics, it is internationalized. But as if we're discussing kinetic actual warfare, the conventional war of attrition, that is not internationalized. That is limited to the Ukraine theater, where Russia and Ukrainian forces are currently fighting a bloody war of attrition. So in conclusion, it is either naive or simply it is either naive or intentional if a leader were to suggest that NATO countries are going to be next, that this is some domino effect. If you don't do something about Russia, if you don't stop Russia and Ukraine, you are next. That is not true. That is not, again, that is not true because Putin is moral or Russia is moral or Putin is some orthodox saint. Simply, Russia cannot expand the conflict. They cannot attack a NATO country because that would 
trigger Article 5 and cause and create an existential threat to Russia herself, as in major military retaliation. So this is mutually assured destruction. So we want to make sure that we're very clear that it is not World War III and this idea that NATO countries, NATO partner countries are next in a Russian game of aggression with basically this, this idea is completely false and it has nothing to do with Russia being moral or immoral or Putin being a good man or an evil man. It has nothing to do with that. Let's be clear.